Hello everyone. Welcome to my live. Pin comment. Hello. Welcome to my live. Hey Farida. Hi Teddy. Hi Chami. Hi Halima. Hi Justimwang. Welcome back to my live. Tena. I hope you are scared. Hi Pendo. Hmm. Leo ni namgeni um ambaye ni coach ni coach career atakuwa anaenda kutuelezea namna kuandika modern CV na matumizi ya LinkedIn uh, umuhimu wa matumizi ya LinkedIn uh, pia ataenda kutuambia skills gani zinahitajika katika ulimwangu wa digitali skill gani uwe nayo kwa sababu sasa hivi really, hata wanao wajiri hawaangalii unaweza kawa na degree ndio lakini mtu mwingine akawa na diploma akawa na skills nyingi akachukuliwa. Kwa hiyo ni muhimu sana kujua skills mbalimbali mbali ambazo ziko very marketable but so far LinkedIn ni muhimu sana jamani. Professionals no I mean professionals wote wako huko na hata ambao wanaajiri sasa hivi wako huko. Juzi hapa nimeona nimeona takwimu statistics jamii forums. Uh, matumizi ya mtandao Tanzania yani mtandao gani unaongezwa kutumiwa kwa wingi namba moja ilikuwa ni Facebook namba mbili ilikuwa ni Instagram namba tatu ilikuwa ni YouTube namba nne zinakuja nyingine TikTok Twitter lakini sikuona LinkedIn kwa hiyo matumizi ya LinkedIn kwa sisi bado yako chini kwa hiyo jamani tujitahidi kutumia LinkedIn haitoshi tu kuwa na na account LinkedIn yani natakia sivyo yako iwe kuwa yani unakuwa una update mara kwa mara uko LinkedIn hi Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. Umeingia na hii account ya jina ya jina lako. Yeah, nimeingia kwa sababu nimeshindwa kuongea ya business lakini nitatoa information later. Kwa hiyo hatijaribika kitu. Yeah, naona kwa sababu ya business ni kwa sababu VPN maybe or whatever hiyo login information za huko Tanzania imeninyima ku login from here. Oh, so na okay. nafikiri marketing wetu mtu wa marketing nafikiri she's he's not available now so najua tena vijana. Oh yeah, pole. Yeah. So kwa hiyo hope I hope mnaniona vizuri habari zenu. Yeah, tunakuona kabisa. Tuje hapo tuko tunakusubiri wewe. Ah, uh, okay. kwanza samani ni kidogo kwa kujoin kidogo late kama mnavyojua masaa tunatofautiana huku ndo kwanza tumeamka. Ya yeah, kwa hiyo nakupoa kuna some sort of uh, issues na connection nilikuwa najaribu ku login kwenye account ya biashara lakini unfortunately nimeshindikana kwa hiyo this is my personal account yeah kwa hiyo tunaweza tukaanza yeah yeah that's nice mm -hmm. okay so tell us about yourself uh, na uko wapi kama tujeni na what you are doing yeah mm -hmm. Okay. So kwa jina mimi naitwa Catherine, uh, ni mtanzania ambaye naishi huko Canada, uh, kwenye mji unaitwa Calgary, Canada, na nimekuwa huko kwa kipindi cha miaka kama kumi na kitu hivi, uh, lakini nilizaliwa Tanzania, nimekulia Tanzania, na nimesoma high school Tanzania, and then baada ya hapo kwa baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu nikaenda kusoma nchi mbalimbali za nje na at the end of the day nikaenda kuwa hapa Canada. Kwa hiyo mimi sasa niko Canada naishi huko Canada nafanya kazi huko Canada lakini ni Tanzania ambayo nimezaliwa nyumbani na narudi nyumbani more often na recently for the past uh, two years nimekuwa na involved sana na vitu mbalimbali vya kuweza kuhamasisha vijana nyumbani kwa empower vijana nyumbani kwa wale ambao wanatafuta fursa hasa za kusoma nje fursa hasa za kufanya kazi nje Uh, hususan sana sana huku Canada kwa sababu nimeishi na nimesoma huku kwa hiyo I have a lot of experience uh, na inchi ya Canada nimesoma kwenye system ya college huku nimesoma kwenye system za university huku kwa I know in and out about Canada yani naweza tu nikalala nikakwambia Canada oh, tukamalizana yeah alafu sasa ni kufikoma ile kurudi nyumbani more often for the past five years nimekuwa na ile hamasa ya kuanzisha kitu ambacho kinaweza kikawasaidia vijana kutafuta guidance, kutafuta instructions kama kutafuta mashule huku, kutafuta kazi Canada. Kwa mimi na business partner wangu which in the future mtamuona another live, uh, tumeanzisha uh, recruitment agency ambayo inaitwa Top Education Consulting na nitatoa hizo information baadaye. Lakini kwa kwa professional wise mimi ni both ni legal advisor ni soma masomo ya sheria as well as a, a career coach kusaidia watu kuandaa resume, kuandaa cover letter, kuwa empower kwenye interview skills na vitu mbalimbali ambazo vinaweza kuwasaidia watu 
wakaweza kupata uh, Ka, uh, kazi na kuwa um, ku feel more confidence wakia, wakienda kwenye kutafuta kazi au wakienda kufanya interview kwa ajili ya kuajiriwa. Kwa hiyo that's a little bit uh, short synopsis about myself. Well, hiyo ndio short. Hiyo <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> ndio short, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Vizuri sana kwa mm-hmm. mm. Yeah, um kwa hiyo tulikuwa tunaomba utuambie yani modern CV inatakiwa iwe na vitu gani au ungependa kuanza na kipi kati ya vitu kati ya topic zetu tu tulizokuwa tume tumeenda Okay kwanza naweza tukazungumzia resume kwa sababu resume ndio kitambulisho maalum ambacho kinakuintroduce wewe kwa mwajiri Uh, watu wengi hawajui lakini unaweza kawa na skills ambazo unaweza kuziperform physically lakini unapo apply kazi uh, ile resume yako ukiiweka ambayo inaonekana iko more professional basi ndio introduction to you introduction to opportunities introduction to business owners introduction to business partner and another network kwenye dunia hii ya leo sasa uh, kwa hiyo resume ni pretty much ni summary of your qualification and skills to your to the employer that your potential employer that you are applying sasa uh, kuna aina mbalimbali za resume kuna three i think three to four types na resume na depend uko um, uko nchi gani kuna nchi zinaangalia resume kitofauti lakini leo tunataka tujifunze more of a modern resume kama wengi mnatambua sasa hivi tunaenda kwenye uh, dunia ya udijitali nafikiri by 2026 uh, kama wewe hujajikita kwenye masomo ya digital basi wewe kwa kweli hautakuwa hauna kazi kwenye dunia yale kwa sababu kila kitu kinaenda kwenye dunia ya udijitali. Sasa kuna resume, resume ya kwanza inaitwa chronological resume ambayo yenyewe una list your skills um, na education most recent one to the oldest one. Sasa kwa mfano kwa mfano kama wewe sasa hivi unafanya kazi Vodacom, you are either a sales person au unafanya bank, CRDB au a bank teller. Sasa wewe utakapokuwa unaandika hii resume, hiyo skills zako na qualifications zako utazilist kwanza hii kazi unaofanya sasa hivi, ukiendelea chini kazi uliyofanya before this one and then after kazi before the other one. Kwa una list most recent to the oldest one. Na kuna kitu kingine kinaitwa uh, another resume kinaitwa functional resume. Hiyo inakuwa more of your skills and capabilities. Haina a lot of your um, work history kwa una list zile skills ambazo zitakufanya wewe utasimama kwa mwajiri wako. Kwa mfano, kama wewe unafanya kazi bank au you're a bank teller, one of the main skills that you should have as a bank teller kwanza ni problem solving. Watu wanakuja pale wakiwa na matatizo mbalimbali. Mbali. So what kind of your skills do you have in terms of problem solving? Um, kuna wale wengine ambao uh, unakuwa na skills za kuwek with a difficult person. Mtu anakuja huko na frustration zake za kimaisha anakuja pale anaanza kufoka. Sasa wewe as mfanyakazi as a behind teller, what type of skills do you have ambazo zitamsaidia huyo mtu ambaye yuko na hasira zake yuko pale? Kwa that's one thing ambacho ndio hiyo inaitwa functional resume. Na kuna type nyingine ya resume ambazo unaweza tu kazi list based on your qualification and based of, of your skills. Sasa, ni vitu gani ambavyo vinatakiwa kuwa kwenye resume? Kwanza kitu ambacho nataka tukumbuke, resume inatakiwa tu ina page moja au mbili. Utakiwa kuweka vitu vingi kwenye resume. Page moja au mbili. Unaanza na your personal information, kitu kama jina lako, kitu kama your email address, kitu kama um, your um, your phone number kitu kama let's say kama una website unaweza kuandika vile vile website umeelewa na vile vile kama una fax number you can put your fax number after that inakuja objective objective ni kazi gani ambayo wewe unaitafuta kama maybe you are applying for a customer service unaweza ukasema tu kwamba i have five years, years of experience in customer service i'm looking for a customer service position that will make me um, uh, uh, stand more for your organization to solve your skills and become uh, an integrated member of the of your organization then by the objective you also can list your skills different skills maybe kama ni customer service problem solving skills you know uh, easy to communicate with people you know uh, uh, handled um, well to deal with irate customers um unajua maybe mambo ya cash register you know vitu kama hivyo na hapo baada hapo sasa utakuja let's say your work history umefanya kazi kwenye sehemu gani ambazo zitasaidia wewe kwenye hiyo uh, 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 kazi unayo apply makampuni mbalimbali utaya list and then baada sasa hapo unaweza ukaweka your education unaweka education zako ambazo unajua zitakusaidia wewe kupata ile kazi sasa inabidi sasa uangalie hiyo kazi wanataka elimu ya aina gani kama kazi wanataka bachelor of um, accounting 
na una bachelor of accounting you put bachelor of accounting kama kazi unataka diploma of accounting you put diploma of accounting so education ambazo zitasaidia wewe ukasimama uka stand up to that application uh, and then kitu kingine sasa baada ya hapo unaweza ukaandika um, baada ya your education ukaandika let's say either kama una hobbies lakini mara nyingi unaambia watu in terms of hobbies weka hobbies kwenye kwenye resume only when you know that you don't we, you don't have work, enough work experience so kama fano kama kazi nasema tena tunataka 5 years of a uh, um, customer service or bank teller kwa unapoandika resume yako wewe kama huna hiyo miaka hiyo mitano kwenye experience zako then usiweke hobbies kama huna no, kama huna weka hobbies lakini okay. kama kama hauna kama unazo hizo 5 years of experience don't include hobbies kwa sababu hobbies you have to be very careful you're only going to put hobbies ambazo it goes towards what you're applying for example mtu wa customer service was kusema maybe um, my hobbies is to play basketball yani it's not it's it doesn't connect you know okay. mtu wa uh, let's say una apply kwenye kazi ambayo kufanya kazi na watoto kufundisha chekechea kufundisha vidudu au kufundisha shule you can say you know one of my hobbies is to go out with children uh, kuatarishia kuchora mchoro mbalimbali na watoto then that goes with what you are uh, employees looking for so always put hobbies ambazo zinaendana na qualification na hiyo kazi unayo apply kama iendani don't include any hobbies okay and then baada ya hapo sasa umeshamaliza resume yako so one to two page it shouldn't be longer um and then baada ya hapo sasa unaweza sasa ukaandika sasa uh, your reference page and the reference page always has to be on a different page watu wengi wanasema pena sana hii phrase nasema reference provided upon request Never do that mistake of say reference provided upon request. Always provide a separate sheet of your references. So kama ni mfanya kama ni supervisor au kama ni manager wako in the past you know how your mentor you know uh, mtu yote ambaye unajua anaweza kukupa good reference. Na mara nyingi wa inform your reference kabla hujaweka information zao. Kuna walimu wengine wametufundisha miaka mingi labda professor college or professor university kwa hiyo always reach out to them make sure namba zao za simu zinafanya kazi make sure their email is working ili wajue kwamba unaomba reference okay sasa kitu kingine pia ambacho is very good to put on your resume ni language kama resume yako itahitaji mtu ambaye unajua kuzungumza kiingereza vizuri you can put fluent in english and swahili kama resume yako katika skills ile imesema kwamba inahitaji mtu ambaye anajua kuzungumza kifaransa vizuri you put the language that you speak as long as you mention that one of the qualification where kinds of qualifications are okay sasa ni vitu gani ambavyo avitakiwi tuviweke kwenye resume zetu which i found it this is very popular kwa nyumbani Tanzania for some reason wa Tanzania sisi CV zetu tunaandika umri wa Tanzania sisi CV zetu tunaandika I'm single or married yeah. that's not necessary na haitajiki kwenye resume Okay. Yaani employer atakiwi kujua wewe una miaka mingapi? Employer atakiwi kujua wewe ni single au married. Kwa nini? Okay. Inaweza ukawa umekuwa let's say una miaka fulani. Na hiyo employer okay. anataka mtu kwa mfano let's say una miaka 45. Okay? Employer anataka kwenye kichwa chake amwajiri mtu wa miaka 30 kijana mdogo millennium ambaye ata grow kwenye ile kampuni. Well 45 or 55 you almost about to retire. Kwa sababu at the end of the day kitu ambacho tunatakiwa kukumbuka what are we bringing kwenye kampuni? What are we bringing our skills kusaidia uh, kukuza ile kampuni? Kwa hiyo it comes to age usiweke hata siku moja umri wako kwa sababu inaweza kusababisha una qualification nzuri lakini usipate kazi. Kwa sababu employee mwake anataka mtu ameka 30, wewe unaweka na miaka 45 au 55. Hawezi kukuajiri. That's why employer should know about your age. Employer can know about your age miaka yako baada ya kukuajiri. Akishakwambia sasa uh, uh, Catherine, hii kazi ni yako. Tutatupe information zako kama need ID, whatever is needed as an ID. That's when employer anaweza kaona umri wako. Kiki by then ameshakupa kazi. Okay? Kwenye akikuuliza mfano usa kwenye interview labda umetuma CV na umekuwa umekuwa shortlisted kwenye interview unaweza ukasema umri wako au kwenye interview huaga waulize umri kwenye interview natazungumza baadaye mara nyingi kwa mtu ambaye anajua kufanya uh, easy interview anasikiza kufanya interview 
hawezi kukuuliza umri. Na one thing nataka niwaambie wa just because swali naulizwa kwenye inter it doesn't mean you have to answer it. Okay. Yaani sio kwamba mtu anakuuliza maswali kwenye interview lazima uje. Kuna maswali mengine ukasema I prefer. Unaweza ukasema I prefer not to answer this question is more of a personal question. Yeah. Kama huyo mtu ni mtu ambaye anasikiliza kufanya interview ni professional mtu ambaye anasikiliza kufanya interview hawezi kuchukua that jibu as offended jibu akakosesha kazi mm -mm. yeah no, kwa hiyo hata kuuliza kwenye interview don't say kitu kingine pia uwezi kuandika kama wewe you're married or single kwa, kwa nini married sana sana watu tu wale walioolewa wanakuja na majukumu mengi watu wanakuja na familia zao majukumu ya kifamilia watu wanakuja na majukumu ya mume watu wanakuja na majukumu mengi sasa hicho kinaweza kumfanya mwajiri kama ni kazi ambayo ina demand wewe kuwa kazini muda mrefu kwa mfano kama ni kazi yako ya kumaliza saa kumi na moja jioni lakini kuna siku nyingine mwajiri anataka wewe ukae pale mpaka saa, saa moja usiku ambaye sasa anaweza akakulipa uh, overtime hiyo ukiweka kama mari inaweza kumfanya mwajiri mm, nikimwambia wewe akae mpaka saa moja atakaa kweli kwa sababu kumbuka nyumbani kuna watoto kunuka nyumbani kuna mume ambaye anatakiwa muhudumie ndio maana you don't put kama marriage or single it should be yani employer asitakie kujua wewe marriage au status okay? okay so hivyo ni kitu ambacho huwezi kuweka kwenye resume yeah na kitu kingine ambacho we have to be um, mindful kuviweka kwenye resume make sure una proofread resume yako unaisoma make sure unajua resume yako watu wengi yeah. wanaweka resume au wanaomba msaada watu waandikie resume yeye mmoja hajaipitia kusoma hiyo resume kwa sababu huwezi kujua ni swali gani utaulizwa kwenye resume. Mtu akikwambia okay ni, nieleze kuhusu um, skills zako. One of the skills on the list yako. Kama wewe mwenyewe hujaipitia hujui resume yako utamwambia nini? Kwa always hakikisha umeisoma resume yako, hakikisha ume ume proofread haina any grammatical error. Hakikisha unasema ukweli. Usidanganye hata siku moja kwenye resume. Kwa sababu kwa nilivyosema resume ni kitambulisho chako wewe kwa employer. Okay? Yeah. Resume ni kitu ambacho wewe kitakufanya utastand up different from Catherine, itakufanya different from Alice, different from witness, different from anybody who is watching us. Kwa hiyo make sure unazungumza ukweli kwenye resume yako. Okay? Alafu kitu kingine watu watambue ni kwamba mara nyingi dunia sasa hivi hizi resume zetu ziko kwenye database system. Na maanisha nini? Unapoona job application, mtu anataka kwamba kuajiri customer service bank teller your accountant kuna zile list of skills ambazo anaziandika anataka mtu ambaye anajua quick uh, book maybe you uh, is a database kwa watu wanafanya accounting anamtaka mtu ambaye anajua customer service skills mtu ambaye ni problem solver communi good communication skills unapoandika resume yako wewe make sure zile skills ambazo mwajiri amezilist kwenye tangazo la kazi lazima ziwepo kwenye resume yako for you to stand out kwa sababu system ya siku hizi dunia tunayokwenda kama nilivyosema mwanzo ni dunia ya kidijitali upeleki yeah. wewe resume au CV kwa mwajiri akaipokea akaisoma mara nyingi wanakuambia uapply online kwa nini wanakuambia uapply online kwa sababu wenyewe online wame set system fulani ambayo inaenda ku pick zile resume zilizotumwa zenye zile keywords ambazo wamezilist kwa hiyo okay. ukiona Ukiona mwajiri anaandika kwamba nataka mtu mwenye 5 years of experience in customer service, make sure your resume inasema 5 years in customer service. Ukiweka mwajiri anasema kwamba nataka mtu mwenye skills ya kujua QuickBook, nifikiri ni nani platform ya account. Kama hiyo wewe una hiyo skills, weka QuickBook. Kama ukisema mwajiri akisema nataka mtu ambaye anajua anajua mambo ya problem solving, mtu ambaye anazungumza Kiswahili au mtu Kiingereza, weka kwamba I speak fluent English, I speak fluent Kiswahili. You know, I have a good customer service skills. I have good communication skills. I'm a problem solver. Those keywords make sure zip. No matter, it's very important. We saw my son tangazo la kazi. Uka soma uka lielewa. Uka angalia ni skills gana ambazo hile mwajira mezi listi. Na hizo nazo lazima uzeweke kwenye hile resume ya. Kwa sababu, kama nivyo samo, nivyo tuma online, wana set system online. Ambo enenda kuselect only those resume. Ambo zi ni include zile um job uh, job skills walizo li, list sasa wewe ndio maana ukikuta una apply kazi miaka inaenda miaka inarudi kupati kazi unajiuliza kwa nini mtuma resume mara nyingi pale sipati kazi this is because resume yako uku include zile skills ambazo mwajiri anazitaka 
Well, always be very careful what you put on your resume. Okay? Wow. Yeah. 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 So Mm -hmm. Kwa hiyo ni, ni fupi tu short fupi tu information kuhusu resume. And then baada hapo kisha proofread uki make sure na vile vile muombe mtu mwingine ai proofread your resume. Umeandika wewe mwenyewe mtu mwingine ameiangalia, niende kwa professional, you can reach out to us nitatoa information, tunasaidia watu kuandika resume, tunasaidia watu kuandika cover letter, tunawaprepare watu kwa interview skills, tunawempower watu kusimama and stand out to their resume. Kwa always reach reach to us, nitatoa hizo information baada Tunaweza yeah. tukakusaidia na tutakuwa masisha usimame na ustand confident kwenye kutafuta namba ya kutafuta kazi. Yeah. Sasa kitu kingine ambacho kinaendana na resume ni obviously ni cover letter. Yeah. Um, cover letter ni kitu kingine ambacho is very very important unapotafuta kazi. Kwa sababu cover letter uh, ina introduce your resume or application form kwa yule mwajiri. Yeah. Unapoandika cover letter it's an introduction about yourself. Cover letter that's why you are say, that's where you are selling yourself. Dunia tunayoishi sasa hivi dada yangu kaka yangu nayenisikiza if you don't know how to sell yourself you are out into this system. Kuna vijana wengi kama wakina witness hapo yani wana they are running wanakimbizana na dunia ya leo they are running kutafuta different skills. Sasa yeah. wewe kama you don't sell yourself on the skills you are out of this game. Kwa make sure your cover letter it's a convincible and I'm convinced yule mwajiri kwamba huyu namtaka aje anifanyie nini kazi. Okay? Sasa cover letter ina nini? It's pretty much kama resume. Utaandika jina lako la kwanza na la mwisho, utaandika your phone number, utaandika your email address na kama uko Dar es Salaam utaandika tu Dar es Salaam. Hamna haja kuandika siyo PO box pin hizo kwa kweli it's not really necessary. Kama unataka, you can put P.O. box, just in case. For more to look more professional, that's fine. And then, baada ya hapo, unajilezea sasa skills zako, how your skills will be fit kwa hiyo kazi unayo apply. Kwa mfano, mtatumia mfano wa customer service again. Um, anasema kwa mba mwajira, anasema nataka mtu mwenye miaka sita saba experience ya customer service. Kwa hiyo watu, when you start, unasema I have five years experience in customer service, in the past four or five years, I've worked for Vodacom. My main job was to assist customers to different uh, departments. Uh, I have a, a good uh, experience in communication skills. I'm a problem solver. And then, baada hapo, kama kazi yo inaitaji elim, unaweza ukazungumza kuhusu elim. Kwa mba nina maybe two years diploma uh, in, um, I don't know, sales marketing. You know, na vitu kama hivyo kwa hiyo unajua kwamba elimu yako itakusaidia wewe kuendelea kuendeleza kampuni. Always what do you give to the company, not what you are getting from the company. Ndio, watu wengi tunapenda kufanya kazi, aim yetu ni kupata pesa, zitatusaidia kukizi mahitaji yetu mbalimbali ya nyumbani na vile vile to grow professionally. Lakini hiyo sio employer ajio kwamba wako pale tukupokea mshahara. Lazima ujiseli kitu gani unakileta kwenye ile kampuni. What are your uniqueness based na Janet, based na Alice, based na Kathleen? What do you bring to this company? That's where you sell yourself on your cover letter. Okay, okay. sorry. Apo, what you bring to, to the company? Apo, unatakiwa mtu wa nikagi, mfano. Kama mm -hmm. nikazi ya uh, service. Okay. Apo, na mtu wa nika skills zake, sindi yo? Ehe, sasa hapo unazo kasema kwa mba what do you bring to the company? Kwa funo kama let's say company nataji mtu mwenye miaka saba au mtu ambaye Yeni kazi yako itakuwa kudivu Sama yuwa ukifanya kazi kwenye customer service manyingu na kuja na watu wenye hasira, watu kufoka foka Sasa weo mwenye lazima kama that's one of the part ambo utakuwa naifanyia kazi Hapo ndo napojeleza kwa mba in a five years of experience in a uh, customer service in the past have been able to solve different skills in the company such as dealing with irate customers you know our member sales you know, so kwamba in the past I've, I've been able to assist based on marketing in my my sales skills imeweza kusaidia kampuni kuipatia faida mbalimbali kwa kuuza more products a kampuni you know kwa kutumia my uh, selling skills or my customer service skills ojeleza wewe unaleta nini kwenye kampuni ya kama inahitaji mtu kujua ku solve matatizo basi unasema kwa mimi na hizo skills ni solve matatizo in the past kama inahitaji mtu ambaye atakiwa kuongeza mapato ya ile kampuni kwa kuuza bidhaa zaidi i have marketing skills I have sales skills in the past nimefanya kazi kwenye same flani nimeweza kuongeza mapato ya biashara mapato ya kampuni 
you can even mention the numbers kama maybe in the month ilikuwa figures ziwe ukolete mapato ya dola ya yeah, let's say um, milioni 100200 unasema kwamba au successfully able to reach the target goal of the company for that month we well, always sell yourself on the company yeah okay hapo tunaelewa mhm mhm and then at the end always um waleze mwajili kwamba you're looking forward to meet them you're looking forward to um for an interview and always be positive kwamba are you looking forward to have more discussion over the phone or discussion for meeting up on an interview and come there's no any way you can reach them you'll be following up with them in the next two business days or three business days then you sign your name put your signature there that's it always again cover letter mtafute mtu ambaye anaweza kai to free your cover letter kama nilivyo sema if you need more help uh nitakuwa toa information uh part of my business tunafanya hizo uh, services za kusaidia watu kutafuta kazi kunyoshia resume zao kuwasaidia watu for interview skills kuwafanyia watu kufanya kitu kinaitwa mocking interview na vitu mbalimbali okay that's nice yes. Mm-hmm. sasa sijui kama kuna mtu kwa sababu tumezungumzia resume and cover letter sasa kama kuna mtu hapa ana swali sisi kuna maswali sijajua yeah. tunaweza tukaajibu ambaye anahusiana na cover letter au resume na cover letter is always just one page it is more than one page okay yeah you you keep it short yeah okay yeah kama tujenerea sehemu nyingine moja turuhusu maswali na mimi nina swali ya yeah. ukiwa kwenye interview unaruhusiwa kusema wewe ni mjamzito let's say wewe ni mjamzito those are the, the kwa sababu kuna imewahi kutokea coincidence ni dada mmoja alikuwa ame anataka kuajiliwa baada ya kumwambia mwajili wake nina mimba like vitu kama hivyo ni unaweza kusema au sio lazima any personal information should not be disclosed for okay. interview na nimesema kama huyo anayekufanyia interview is a professional korea yeah. coach or interview or hr professional ambaye ameenda shule hawezi kuuliza maswali ambayo ni personal unless kama ujauzito wako unaonekana lakini kama unaenda ujauzito wako huonekana you should not disclose any information ambazo personal ujauzito hali yako ya kiafya una miaka mingapi una watoto wangapi sijui umeolewa sijui ni single utaki ku disclose this information and they are not supposed to be asking you for your personal information okay so that's that's very good ngoja tusome comments hapa mm. Thank you Joeli. Mtu ananiambia natakiwa ni naongea chap chap kama wewe. Uyuni <laughs> professional doctor. Na naongea mimi haraka haraka. Ya, unaongea. Okay, I hope okay. mnanielewa lakini au ni 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 niongee ni, ni slow kidogo. No no no, you are very good. Si ndio mimi namwambia hiyo ndio professional yako. Kwa hiyo ya. Kuna mtu anasema inapendeza na kufurahisha kwa kweli kuona sisi wa missionary tunafanya vizuri huku tunapoishi. Nimetumia neno missionary badala ya diaspora maana hakuna tofauti kubwa. Um kitambua, uh, kwa ndani zaidi. Thank you Chami. Asante. Tuendelee yeah. kuhamasisha watu nyumbani na kuatia moyo. Yeah, ni kweli. hapa uh, Miriam anasema kwenye cover letter tunatakiwa kuweka vitu gani na gani? Nadhani atakuwa amechelewa. Mm. Uh, na mwingine anasema pia ukiulizwa tell us about yourself unajibu vipi mwanzo kabisa. Yeah. Okay. Sasa hilo ni swali ambalo watu wengi huwa uh, it's a very tricky question kwa sababu mtu akikwambia tell, tell us about yourself watu wengi wanafikiri kwamba ueleze we ni nani. Umeelewa eh? Na sasa watu wengi watakwambia oh my name is Catherine I'm a single lady sijui na watoto wawili nimeolewa sijui mtu anapokuuliza tell me about yourself it's the same question What do you have? Kuleta kwenye kampuni. What skills do you have that you bring into the company? What education background do you have you bring into the company? Sasa kwa mfano, hiyo kazi inasema kwamba let's say accounting. Accountant anatakiwa aye let's say mfano, tangazo linasema kwamba tunatafuta accounting ambaye ana 2 years or 3 years experience uh, yeah. in accounting and a bachelor of accounting or a masters of accounting you know experience hizo nimesema na vitu mbili mwenye mwenye skills zile kama quickbook wale watu account na skill na database zile system ambazo mnatumia nimetumia quickbook ambayo ndio iko kwenye kichwani kwangu sasa hivi kwa hiyo unapoulizwa tell me about yourself you can start by saying i have sasa hiyo ni base na tangazo la kazi kwa lazima ujue kazi linataka nini 
Kwa hiyo yeah. kama kazi ninataka wewe ni accounting, unasema I have 5 years experience in accounting. Okay, in the past 5 years I've, I've worked in accounting firm, unaweza ukazilist moja mbili tatu. My main job description was to do anything that has to do with account. Ambacho unaona utakileta kwenye hiyo kampuni. I've also worked with different database system in accounting such as QuickBook. Okay? And then baada ya hapo sasa unasema what have you brought to that company in terms of ni faida gani based on your skills umezipeleka kwenye kampuni? Kwa unaweza kusema kwamba uh, when I worked there I realized we were missing some sort of creative part creative part in accounting. I was able to bring a creative part in accounting as well as Okay, have an education that supports my qualification. I have a bachelor in accounting degree from University of Dar es Salaam. At the end, sasa unapomaliza kumnoku mwajiriwa sasa hapo. Unambea, based on my experience, based on my skills, and based on my, and based on my education, I will contribute greatly to your company as an integral member of this company. And I'll be perfect for this position. Yani where you sell. Yani hapo jiuuze. Dada angu, kaka angu. That's where you should sell yourself. Nifitugia unafileta. Kwa hopefully uo mfano umesaidia kwa karakaraka kwa hilo swali. Lakini uyo alo lizo swali kama unataka mua information. Unama swali mengine ya interview. Feel free. Yeah. Lakini hilo swali ni swali very tricky. Kwa unataka kusema. Ukiluzo swali kama hilo. Usianze kuzumuzia personal staff. I'm married. I have two kids. Sijui wa live somewhere Tabata sio ni nini na miaka sio mingapi uwezi kuzungumza mfumo yani wewe elezea qualification zako elezea education yako elezea your experience inaoendana na hiyo um, kazi unawe unawe apply wow awesome kwa hiyo tell us about yourself ni kama tu cover letter yani ni kama cover letter ni kama cover letter since at the end lazima yeah. uweke firm statement kwamba my qualification my skills, my um, my education will fit yeah. or will be suitable for this position. Will contribute greatly to your company. So I'm a perfect fit for this position. Any, we wanna say much to go to Kingereza. We wanna say much to go to Any be firm. I'm convinced my dear, we wanna say much to go to Alice. We wanna say much to Janet. Kabisa. Iyo ni position zuri ya kuji. Iyo ni ukisha kwa si. Mtu ukishatuma CV na ukawa shortlisted, jua kwamba uwe uko uko na fasi nzuri ya kuwa ya kabisa. Mm -hmm. Kabisa. Yeah. Yo, na watu wengi ndio watu wengi hawajui hapo kwamba wewe ukishatuma resume au CV kwa mwajiri, akakuita for interview. My dear brother, my dear sister, jua kwamba your resume has stand out. Hajaita tu because of wanataka tu kuita watu. Sasa yeah. wewe chukua muda jitayarishe research kuhusu kama na watu wengi ndio hawajui sasa ukiitwa kwenye interview make sure umefanya good research kuhusu hiyo kampuni unajua kampuni in and out unajua kampuni values zake unajua kampuni mission statement yake it doesn't have to know it to memorize but unajua the whole idea of the company umeelewa yes. unajua kampuni the way it open unajua competitive wa kampuni kwa mfano kama unaitwa una, una, una unajua wana team competitive wana airtel comp it knows their competitive Ata ya baadaya unapoji andaya kwenye resume vilevyo natalisha maswali ambayo you are asking them. You know, how are you dealing with the competition you are going on? I know one of your competitors is uh, Tigo. What does make, what, how, what are you doing to make you stand more than Tigo? What would, what would a customer choose Vodacom instead of choosing Tigo? Kwa hivyo ni vitu ambavu, yani know the company very well before you go for an interview. Go and sell yourself and know them kwa jisho kwa mba unaidua kampuni in and out. Yeah, that's very nice. Na nikuwa pili na nataka tumbongezea. Kwa mfano, nasa wakuta kazi imetolewa na kuna, yani wanataka mtu mwenye skills hizi na hizi na hizi. Watu wengi unakuta mtu anaogopa, laki anaogopa kuomba kwa sababu anajua hana hizo skills. As long as it's your education, skills you can learn. Unazo kandika kama uliko sema, make sure that you list those skills kwenye hiyo kazi. Na you can go and learn those skills. Ili sisi kuna hizo skills umesha zijua. Yeah. Mimi na 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 phrase fulani huwa naisemaga na marafiki zangu wana wanaanza kuizoea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mimi huwa nasema fake it until you make it. That's true. Okay? What do I mean by that? Kama kazi yako wewe I I I I I I I, I, I it doesn't deal na vitu ambavyo vinataisha maisha ya mtu. Kama kazi yako wewe sio kwa daktari, kama kazi yako wewe sio nursing, 
kama kazi yako sio kuzalisha mtoto kama kazi yako sio dietitian ambayo unatakiwa provide meal kwa watu kama kama kazi yako sio askari ambayo unajua kutumia bunduki my dear brother my dear sister fake it until you make it job yeah. inasema kwamba uwe na good computer skills microsoft excel dunia tunaishi sasa hivi you can learn anything any skills hizo ambazo nimezitaja absolutely kwenye google kwenye youtube you can learn anything as long as sio kazi ambazo za kutaisha maisha ya mtu na unajua hata kazi za kutaisha maisha ya mtu you know nowadays you can even learn some skills about nursing do the uh, medication gani lakini sasa skills kama hizo kazi nyingine zinahitaji uwe na elimu hiyo lakini yeah. kazi kama unahitaji uwe elimu Take it until you make hata ukipata kazi kama wewe hujui mimi nisha kuambia watu wengi sana kuna hii kazi tafuta ah dada mimi siwezi kufanya hiyo kazi sina hiyo skill my dear brother my dear sister take it until you make it go learn dunia ya leo we can learn tatizo sisi wa Tanzania tunapenda sana spoon fed kutokana na jinsi tulivyolelewa kutokana na jinsi mfumo wetu wa elimu kila kitu tunatakiwa kupewa kwenye meza kupewa kwenye meza we don't take initiative kwa kuthubutu kujifunza skills sisi wenyewe yani dunia tunakwenda sasa hivi you have to fake it until you make it kwa wale ambao mmejoe tuna move kwenye dunia ya kidigitali by 2026 our positions will be placed by robots so that's what i'm saying fake it until you make it yeah. learn the skills online know it yani yale is super shida na kama unahitaji hizo hizo motivation talk kama unahitaji mtu wa kuencourage Any reached out reach out to me reach out to our company we are there to assist tuko pale kwa mahasisha wa vijana wenzetu kwa mahasisha ya Tanzania yani jamani let's just change the world yeah that's very good awesome hebu tuambie kampuni yako iko wapi kwa watu wa Dar es Salaam okay kwa mtu wa Dar es Salaam sasa mimi kawala wame join uh, tuna uh, mimi na partner wangu tuna recruitment agency ya kusaidia watu kwenda kutafuta fursa za kuja kusoma nje hususan Canada kwa sababu hapa ndio ninapoishi ni Tanzania kinaishi Canada sasa hivi uh, kwa hiyo kuja kusoma Canada kuja kufanya kazi Canada uh, kwa hiyo tunaanzisha recruitment agency iko maeneo ya Tan House hapo Victoria hilo uh, jengo linaitwa Tan House rafiki kwa jina lingine linaitwa uh, Barrick jengo la Barrick uh, ni maeneo ya Victoria karibu kama unataka kwenda Morocco unataka kwenda Mwenge ya yeah, maeneo kama hayo mm-hmm. kwa sio mbali na jengo jengo la la, la Vodacom na tuko hapo kwenye gorofa la tisa. Kwa hiyo ukifika hapo Tan House inaitwa au oh, Barrick, jengo la Barrick, gorofa la tisa, utakutana na hiyo ofisi yetu inaitwa Top Education Consulting. Na tunasaidia watu vile vile kuandika resume, kuandika cover letter, kuandika kuatalisha watu for interview, uh, ku stand out their interview na vitu kama hivyo. Yeah. Kwa wale kama mnataji namba, uh, nitatoa namba yangu before the end of our Yeah, sure. Mtu anasema dada Catherine umetoa elimu nzuri hii usisite kuipeleka nyumba Tanzania. Hasa iko Tanzania ya... dada yangu karibu sana. Yaani ndio tuko kusaidia nyumbani na iko Tanzania na nitatoa hizo information. Yeah, vizuri. Mm-hmm. Anasema hasa vijijini mfano mkoa unapotoka ili wafaidike na uwepo wetu huko. Yeah, that's okay. Nitafanya hivyo uh, na... sana. Yeah, na huo ndio utakuwa mchango wetu mkubwa wa kuleta maendeleo kwa haraka kama waliofanya wenzetu huko. Mm. Yeah, ni kweli. Um Miriam Mary anasema una Unaweza kuulizwa je utasaidia vipi kampuni kama tukikupa nafasi? Pia ukaulizwa je upo tayari kufanya kazi siku ya ibada kama wewe ni msabato wa Islam au Jumapili unajibuje? Okay. Sasa tuanze na hilo jibu la kwanza kusaidia kampuni. Yeah, yeah. Jibu la kwanza kusaidia kampuni kama nilivyosema mwanzoni, unaangalia hiyo kazi inahitaji vitu gani. Sasa tunarudi tena kwenye customer service au kuna account. Wanahitaji mtu wa aina gani? umenielewa na position yako itakuwa ni aina gani. Kwa sasa unaweza ukasema kwamba uh, umeshafanya kazi kwenye framing, kwenye kampuni ambazo zinadini mambo ya accounting, unajua hizo different um, uh, database system ya, ya accounting kama QuickBook, uh, unajua different database system ya accounting ambazo zinaweza kukusaidia wewe kuendeleza hiyo kampuni. Umenielewa? Na vitu vingine kama ni sales marketing in the past kama ulikuwa na achievements za mambo ya selling ku reach target a monthly target yeah. unaelezea kwamba in the past uliweza kuuza mazao fulani au uliweza kuuza service fulani za kampuni ikasaidia mapato ya kampuni kwa huo mwezi au kwa huo mwaka na you always reach your target kwa sababu una good sales skills una good marketing skills you know na sasa inategemea sasa kwa hapo sasa ni unachukua kitu gani ambacho unaweza kusaidia kampuni 
sio your personal sijui mimi nitafika pale mapema sio yani ni skills gani unaweza kuwa nazo wewe ambazo zitasaidia kampuni ambazo zitaleta manufaa kwenye kampuni you know kwa hiyo kama ni elimu elimu kama ni skills ni skills kama ni ni experience years of experience years of experience kama ni you become person problem solver ameneza problem solving ambayo ni hizo wewe kusolve matatizo ya watu kusolve mistakes ya wateja you are quick person quick acting kwa sababu kuna watu wengine anaweza mteja akaja pale akamuuliza swali anamwangalia tu you know sasa so, so how do you act quick au imetokea laba let's say kuna mtu ameajiriwa pale mgeni you know ndo mnamtrain akaja customer mwingine akawa so angry na huyo mtu kwa sababu huyo mtu yuko slow how do you jump in kumsaidia yule mtu ambaye ndo kwanza ameajiriwa ili as a team to stand out together na kuna kitu kingine kwa mfano kazini makazini mara nyingi watu takuta kosa sijafanya nini na atasema bwana mimi sijafanya mimi ile kosa ngoja mwenye kasari ni aje atarisolve hiyo tatizo i think as a company you should take ownership kosa limefanywa na Catherine wewe ndo umekutwa pale sikio mteja akaja kulalamika Catherine yuko nyumbani unaeleza we apologize for inconvenience lakini how can we make it better you know uh, it's just a human error kama kuna more product unazitoa for free una provide unaendelea kumsaidia yule mteja kwa always as a company work to call ni mtu ambaye unasema kabisa kwamba mimi ni mtu ambaye i solve problem na, na i take initiative kwenye maswali mbalimbali ya kampuni sasa kuna swali mbalimbali nafikiri la kimoa la kiimani uh, na hilo ni swali ambalo uh, kidogo ninakuwa na changamoto kulijibu especially watu wenye imani za kisabato ambayo wengi wataki kufanya kazi masaa ya Ijumaa ikifika jioni sabato inapoanza mpaka yale masaa ya sabato ya Jumamosi sasa my dear sister my dear brother ndio tuko hapa kutafuta kazi ndio tuko hapa kutafuta ugali lakini Mungu ni namba moja mimi vile vile ni Mkristo kwa naamini Mungu. Kama imani yako wewe haikuruhusu kufanya kazi Jumamosi. Kama imani yako wewe unaamini kufanya Jumamosi, it's not the right thing you can do. Open up. Kama umeulizwa hilo swali kwenye interview, wajibu. Na wewe mwenyewe utaona makampuni mengi yanakuambia maybe tunafanya kazi Monday to Friday. Unajua kwamba ah Monday to Friday Jumamosi tatakuwa kufanya kazi. Kwa you don't have to say much about imani yako. Lakini kama kuna makampuni mengine ambayo utakiwa kufanya kazi weekend You know, wewe usijitikiti ukaenda kazini, alafu ukakosa imani, ukaamani kwenye moyo wako. Kama you're not supposed to work on Saturday, ukauliza hilo swali, waambie kwamba mimi imani yangu aniruhusu kufanya kazi Jumamosi. Sasa ngoja nikwambie kitu. That's actually very powerful kama yeah. you. You know why? Kwa sababu employer kwanza anajua your value as a person. Yeah. Just because una shida doesn't mean you should accept it. Kufanya kazi Jumamosi. Koyo, if you think your imani wewe haikuruhusu kufanya kazi Jumamosi, waeleze mapema wajue kwamba mimi na imani yangu hainiruhusu kufanya kazi Jumamosi. Kwa hiyo masiku ya Jumamosi mimi nitashinda kuja kazini, lakini Jumapili mkinihitaji nitakwepo kazini. Yaani hiyo ita stand out more than yule mtu ambaye amejificha. Kwa sababu it tells kwamba you know there kumbembeleza, you know there to be yeah. look for desperate. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu unajitambua kama wewe employee hata kubali imani yako wewe kuna mwingine atakaye kutafuta na hiyo imani yako. Kwa hiyo always kama kazi na involve Jumamosi open up. It shouldn't be at the beginning of conversation, it can be at the end of conversation. Kwamba kitu nataka kuwa taarifu mimi ni imani ambayo haniruhusu kufanya kazi Jumamosi. Kwa hiyo Jumamosi mimi sitakuwa available lakini Jumapili ni kwa available. Kama your skills, kama your resume, kama your education, son of that job I guarantee you amna mwajira atakaye kataa. Na akikataa ujue kwamba I wasn't meant for you. Akikataa ujue kwamba kuna mwingine ata value ile confidence yako ya kuwa mkweli ukawaeleza kwa sababu anything in the company utakuwa mkweli uta stand out and you know your value. You know kwamba I'm better than Alice. You know kwamba I'm better that witness. Ndio maana you, you know there kubabaisha tu kusema hata msiku nitaenda tu hata mkinipa kazi nitajua jinsi ya kufanya sasa. No. Stand out when do umeenda shule when do umeandika resume where you have the skills stand out and look different tusiende tukabuza buruza tu just because kila mtu anaenda no kama imani ya kuruhusu open up and say asipo yes. kuajiri ku, ku, mwingine atakuajiri ambaye atakutana bana mtu mwingine kama ni msabato na kampuni yake asema welcome brother welcome sister let's do it yeah so don't worry about it absolutely wewe anasema mm-hmm unakuta hapo kazi unahitaji au unijua ni kali. No, mimi na kama ulivyosema mimi mwenyewe natakiwa uwe na msimamo since day one. Don't negotiate. Mm. Unaweza ka negotiate afu kafika ili mtu kama anajua anakuchukua, anakuchukua kijua value yake. 
kasi nakuta watu wanakuwa wana negotiate afu akifika kule mbele ndo anaanza kusema mimi siwezi kuja kufanya kazi siku ya sabato lakini mm-hmm. ni negotiate from the fact from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Na kitu ambacho kinatukosti watu wengi, tuko so desperate. Najua kazi ni ngumu, ni kweli, najua ni kali, lakini tuko so desperate. Mwajira kisha kuona uko, uko so desperate. Hiyo kwanza ni mbaya. Yaani mwajira atakiwa anakiwa sikuone kwamba wewe uko desperate. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah. Kabisa na kama unimwamini Mungu na una imani yako, just know that that wasn't for you. Najua maisha ni ngumu, changamoto za kimisha. Trust me. Sisi wote ni Tanzania tumezaliwa, tumeelewa. Mimi nilikuwa nyumbani kwa recent. I just came back here in Canada August. I know changamoto za nyumbani I know maisha yetu na ndu I know kwa hiyo I know mtu anaposema jua kale yani I understand lakini my idea stand out kwamba imani yako ni imani yako na kuwa yeah. too open kwa sababu hiyo itakufanya kwanza uta even stand out different than anybody else kwa sababu you know your values and you know it yeah I know a person ambaye kataa mshahara yani yeye alisema unataka tukulipe shilingi ngapi akasema mshahara wake hmm. wakataka kubagena akasema no I don't do it mimi mwenyewe hmm. I know what I, I i know i know what i, I need to offer mimi najua skills zangu na yeah. taofa vitu kubwa kwa hiyo i don't negotiate alikataa kazi kwa sababu hawaku hawakuna nini kwenye mshahara sio nakuta mtu yuko desperate ndio anakubali hadi 50000 kwenye kazi ambayo anatakiwa apewe hela nyingi umeona kitu mm. kama hivyo pia yeah mm. Mm. unakuta na mm. yeah naona hakuna swali we can move on mm. Na hapo mzungumzia kitu ambacho watu wengi pia uh, wakiuliza swali la kuhusu mshahara. You know, kwa mfano kama mshahara natoa tu mfano, don't quote me, lakini kama mshahara unasema kwamba uh, mshahara wetu sisi labda let's say ni uh, laki tano au laki sita kwa mwezi. Umenielewa? Yeah. Lakini wewe mwenyewe kwanza sijui kwa nyumbani, hiyo itabidi ni research zaidi. Kwenye hizi nchi za wenyewe zi unaweza ukagogo mshahara wako au kaenda kwenye kwenye site za serikali inakuonyesha uh, uh, estimation ya mshahara mwenye skills kama wewe na mshahara mwenye mwenye education kama zako based na hiyo kazi unao apply. Kwa hiyo sasa unapokwenda wewe kwenye interview no kiserikali kisheria anatakiwa huyu mtu akulipe shilingi ngapi. Tatizo tunalipwa cheap is because hatujui kisheria where we stand. Kwa mimi kwa mfano uh, nitaendelea ku research ku hilo na tutaendelea kuelimisha watu witness. Kama unajua wewe unatakiwa ulipo shilingi ngapi na unajua kisheria unatakiwa ulipo shilingi ngapi. You know? Mtu akikwambia yeah. mimi mshahara wangu nalipa 500 mpaka 600. Alafu unajua kisheria wewe unalipa unatakiwa ulipo 600 mpaka 700. Bwana unasema range. Useme exactly 600 unasema between 600 mpaka 700. However, it can be negotiable. Yaani ukisema hivyo it can be negotiable is kwamba anaweza kulipa straight 600 au anaweza kulipa 600 na kitu lakini baadaye based on your ethics, based on your performance mnaenda ku review your pay scale. Yeah. Okay. We always know how much you worth it, how much you're supposed to pay the sharia. Okay. Ili ukienda kwenye interview stand out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's very good actually. Mm. Nataka hata Tanzania tunajua kuna hizo range. Yeah. Yeah. Kuna hizo range mm-hmm. Tanzania pia. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah uh, Chami anasema asanteni sana wapendo wangu nimefurahi na kujivunia utazania wangu. Ninamkutana ndani ya mm-hmm. dakika kuu. Next time tumia mawasiliano Catherine. Ya yeah, nitakutumia. Ya yeah, kabisa kabisa ya. Yeah. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Okay. So to move on kwenye matumizi ya LinkedIn and Okay. What should we oh. yeah. Sasa to move on kwenye matumizi ya LinkedIn. Uh, watu wengi hawajui lakini LinkedIn uh, is a top professional um, social networking. Yani, yeah. sasa hivyo watu wengu wanajua sana Instagram, sijui Facebook, sijui nini, umenelewa. Ndiyo, yeah. tukisumia hizi platform da kama Facebook, Instagram, kwenye positive side, nuzo tukafaidika sana. Lakini dunia sasa hivi, majority, tena mungu wa turumie, Afrika, wengi tunatumia imitandao ya kijamii kama Instagram, Facebook, in a very negative way. Okay? Yeah, lakini pia tukitumia mitandao ya Instagram na Facebook in a positive way, basi tunaweza tukapata opportunity nyingi sana. Sasa LinkedIn, LinkedIn sijui kama watu wengi mnaifahamu au kama mwifahamu hizo information za kupo baadaye, uh, it's one of the top social professional social network. Okay? Sasa what should you include in your LinkedIn? Kwanza mimi always say make sure you have a very good professional photo ya LinkedIn based on your career. Kama kiria wako wewe ni daktari, 
you know make sure una ale makote ya kidaktari umevaa ile nani yao sipata kopo hapo shingoni you go somewhere they take you a professional photo kwa hiyo ndio iwe kwenye profile yako kama we ni bank teller you know kazi nikona na kama mna uniform ba uniform kama mna uniform ba tu suti yako nzuri kama ni dada au kaka kai yako nzuri apia more professional kama we ni career the same thing kama we sijui ni um, ni, ni mpika maandazi you know unavaa kama ni kofia yako hati yako ya mapishi ile umevaa apron yako shati lako safi put your professional picture kipicha ambayo ina identify who you are sio we ni ni, ni daktari unaenda kuweka picha yani umekaa tu shakalabaga la kwa sababu picha tells a lot about you unaona alafu na kitu kingine pia eka objective yako kwenye linkedin you introduce who you are in your, in your education kama una phd kama una masters include that kama una bachelor include that okay yeah. kama yeah. una how many years of experience include in your linkedin profile No. Yeah. Na watu wengi hawajui lakini recruiters wengi sana wanaenda LinkedIn. Recruiters wengi sana hawaendi Instagram. Link recruiters wengi sana wanaenda LinkedIn. Unapoenda yeah. kwenye LinkedIn kama wewe unatafuta kazi, download your resume, the professional resume. Kuna bati na kudownload your resume. Download your resume. Hiyo resume yako lazima iwe na keywords Yeah, then back again to customer service. What are the requirements for customer service? Problem solving, good communication skills, organization skills. Any skills and business tajika kwenye customer service, make sure your resume you upload kwenye LinkedIn ina hizo information. Kwa sababu recruiters wanapokwenda, wao wanaenda ku type maneno ya keywords za customer service. Customer service, good communication skills, problem solving, organization skills. So as come your resume has those your profile itakwenda itakuwa linked na yule mtu anaita anaitafuta mkumwajiri mtu. Kwa hiyo ndio nakuna saa nyingine mtu unapata tu kiinbox mtu anakuwaajiri wewe na hii kazi ndafuta mfanya kazi na resume yako ime popped in I think your skills qualify for this position. Can we arrange the meeting? Go make sure your LinkedIn has your resume, make sure your LinkedIn has your professional picture, make sure your LinkedIn has your education, make sure your link your LinkedIn has all those skills that you you know uh, that you have your education kama umesoma university fulani weka jina la university hii pia itakufanyia connection ya watu kutoka from the university kama una masters in accounting masters of accounting masters in business administration masters in business administration it are linked all those people on on linkedin ambazo wana same education as you yeah that's yeah. true yeah. kwa hiyo huko ndo ambako yani you have to appear kwa sababu it's professional you have to appear very very professional Avoid vitu ambavyo havikufanyi you look professional. Sijui kuweka picha ambazo mtu kapaka ma makeup ya ajabu ajabu, sijui ma lipstick, sijui makucha marefu, sijui na there's nothing wrong sorry, there's nothing wrong kama mtu ana makucha marefu hapa lakini tunazungumzia uwanja wa LinkedIn. You know? Yeah. You know kama yeah. unatakiwa kuvaa hereni decent, vareni zako tu pale decent hereni, kama ni mkufu vankufu wako tu decent, lakini usi appear tu bling bling still eh hey, you know because i it's a professional so i appear more professional how do you want people to see you i don't know if you know it one thing you should know what we put on mitandao kitafika hakitaka hata u delete vipi google will have your information so you have to be very careful what you put kwenye hii mitandao na hizi professional network sababu now you don't know who is watching who don't know who is watching you yeah so you on the professional link so make sure in appear very professional utilize it it's a very strong tool ambayo bado watu hawajaelimika kuitumia na kama utahitaji msaada zaidi kwenye kampuni yetu tunatoa mafunzo ya ku prepare your linkedin profile ili ustand up more professional and what to include and so on yeah umesema kitu kizuri kuna watu na wafahamu wawili walipata kazi kupitia linkedin mm-hmm. kuna kaka mmoja ni filipino hapa anafanya kazi hapa anakutana naye nikamuuliza ulipataje kazi akasema mimi nitafuta linkedin na kampuni mm-hmm. Eh, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. no. Sasa kampuni yeye. Unaona sasa? Mm-hmm. Yes, from Denmark to Philippines. Umeona? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Na wakamsafirisha kila kitu sasa hivi anaishi huko na familia yake, lakini mm-hmm. kumbe ilianzia na pia mm-hmm. kuna mtu pia anafahamu, alipata kazi Saudi Arabia, uh, mm-hmm. mambo kwenye mambo ya mining. Nikamuuliza nani waliona, yani walikufahamia wali akasema LinkedIn, umeona? Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo I know two people ambao wamepata kazi kupitia LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ni mzuri ya kuji ya kuji ya kujitanua kiprofessional kwa LinkedIn. Juzi mm-hmm. nimeona hapa um 
Nimeona takwimu ya mitandao yani mitandao inayotumiwa sana Tanzania. Mm. Kwa kwanza Facebook wa pili ni Instagram, LinkedIn haipo kwenye top 10. Umeona? Mm. Kwa ni sigani sisi wa Tanzania hatutumii LinkedIn. Unaweza kuwa una profile lakini profile mtu unakuta tu ameweka profile picture labda na education haina CV yani hakuna chochote. Kwa hiyo pia natakiwa tujifunze ku update LinkedIn profile. Update, ya? Yeah. Very good point. Update yeah. on a regular basis. Kazi zinabadilika, maisha yanabadilika. Update on a regular basis, make sure uko alert what skills are needed. You know, make sure una update your resume all the time. Yeah. yeah. Kwa hiyo uh, that's very important. Nimependa ulivyo mention kwamba umefanya kuangalia ni vitu gani ambavyo um mitandao gani tunayotumia. Na ni kweli Watanzania yeah. tunaelekana sana kwenye my Instagram lakini kwa sababu tutumii professional network ambazo zikatusaidia na kutuelimisha zaidi. Yeah, kabisa. Mm -hmm. Tutumii. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Maybe next person anaweza kawa wewe kutoka LinkedIn. Yeah, naona Yeah, next person yeah, kama unamshia ulivyo ulivyo share hizo two stories. Yeah, watu wengi sana. Yaani uzuri wa LinkedIn mwajiri anakutafuta wewe yani yes. employer anakutafuta so wewe uko apply a uh a -uh. employer yeah. anakutafuta kwa sababu your skills zime stand out recruiters wana wana wanalala huko linkedin utafuta watu so yeah, you be surprised uki uki update your resume who is going to be next on your inbox absolutely yeah na follow watu ambao unaendana nao follow watu ambao wana same professional wewe ni accounting you are not supposed to be following sijui mtu um sijui mcheza dance connection there's nothing wrong na mcheza dance absolutely kila mtu ana talent yake hapa duniani lakini kama unatafuta kazi za accounting follow watu ambao wanafanya accounting kama unatafuta kazi za accounting connect na watu ambao wana accounting firm follow kama unatafuta kazi za udaktari follow healthcare industry kwenye linkedin you know yeah. always follow the people that you're on the same goal the people that inspire you the people that motivate you what about they they can become your mentor who knows you know who's watching you and unaweza kwa una follow ma company makubwa ya account but they they're reaching out to you we well, always follow the, the same people na kitu kingine ambacho watu watambue sasa mzoongea sub topic ya social media kama nilivyo sema mwanzo na tujue tunachopost kwa media lakini tujue kwamba hicho vitu vyo vitu ni vitu ambavyo havifutiki na wana, wa waajiri wa wa, wa, wa makampuni mengi kabla hajakupa kazi yana research about you yata google your name yata google your qualification yata kwenda kwenye wa um, online database system kuona ni kitu gani kiko huko kitu gani una posti yata kwenda hata kuangalia who you are following kama una follow ma 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 ma, 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 ma channel ya udaku sio nini watu wamevaa vitu vya ajabu ajabu my dear sister my brother, dear brother wanasema show me your friends and i know who you are sio yeah. kama unajua yani wewe unaonyesha marafiki zako nitakujua wewe ni mtu wa aina gani sasa kama una follow madudu ya udaku udaku huko mtu asema this is what this woman or this man is following no i'm not bringing at my company yeah that's ndio itakuwa kampuni itaigeuza kuwa chombo cha udaku yeah absolutely kila mtu anaajiri mtu ambaye anaona na the same value na kama yeah. Yeah, people they fall, they they go and look before they kupa. It doesn't matter on a skills gain, doesn't matter on education gain. It doesn't matter how you stand up. Before they say my yes, Catherine. Kesho njoo aje kuanza kufanya kazi. Au wiki ijayo njoo aje kufanya kazi. Lazima aende kwanza akakuangalia huko online umeweka vitu gani. How do you present yourself? Kumbuka utaenda pale una represent kampuni. Anataka kuangalia wewe una represent kampuni kivipi? Ni vitu gani ambavyo unaviweka? You know, ni watu gani ambao una follow kwenye mitandao? Una follow via udaku you must be udaku person to yourself. Una follow watu ambao wamevaa nguo za ajabu ajabu you must be some of them too. So be very careful who you follow sana sana. Kama you are there to grow as a person, kama you are there to grow as a professional person. Kama wewe you know there to grow you're just there for fun activities kwenye social media that's fine. If but if you're building your own brand, be very careful who you follow and what you're putting on social media. Akitaka akitaka za kuondoka. Kwa jiulize mara mbili mbili this post is it here to educate this post is it here to empower unapo comment kwa vitu what what are you commenting there's a lot of negative comments on social media so be very careful yeah people are you are you person unatia moyo watu au you are person ambao una una discourage watu kidu maisha you know that's very powerful thank you mm. what energy are you putting out there you know if you put a positive energy positive things will come to you if you put negative energy negative energy will come to you so always be very careful definitely 
Mhm. Yes, so kitu cha mwisho ilikuwa ni skills ambazo tunahitaji uh, 21st century. Skills gani ambazo tunajiuza oh, oh. out there? Yeah. Mm, okay. Sasa kama nilivyosema mwanzo ni kwa wale ambao ndio kwanza me join in, tunasema kwamba tuna move kwenye dunia ya digital. Okay, na kwa kwenye dunia ya digital, what does that mean? That means we have to have a lot of digital skills. Yeah. Okay? Mambo ya digital marketing you know haitakuwa tena kwenda kusimama kugonga hodi kwenye majumba watu jamani mimi naitwa Catherine na nafanya na, kazi boda church na leo tunatoa offer za za simu leo sisi tunatoa offer za za siwe mpesa sio ni nini yani haitakuwa hivi kila kitu kinaenda kwenye digital kwa make sure skills ambazo tunazo tunapoenda ku dunia sasa hivi una una some sort of skills za digital okay tunaenda vile vile kwenye skills za mitandaoni you know make sure una skills za za, za mitandaoni you know you know about facebook You know about Instagram in a positive way. You know about uh, LinkedIn in a positive way. Okay, unajua ku pin post sio hizo post zako kwenye mitandao is it stand out unatoa more information. Okay? Coding is another thing. Coding is a computer system. Make sure unajua hizo skills. You know? Content creator. You know? Make sure you know those skills kwamba you can create content na ku post online you know unaweza kumsaidia mtu kwenye ku advertise biashara zake online unaweza kumsaidia mtu kuuza biashara zake online you know digital uh, marketing and sales na vitu kama hivyo kwa skills that na bwana sasa hivi ni skills ambazo zinahusisha sana mambo ya makompyuta na mambo ya kidigitali mambo ya connections za mitandao na vitu kama hivyo hizi skills nyingine hizi ambazo zamani watu walikuwa wamejifunza there's nothing wrong with them lakini kuwa sasa hivi na utaka ku stand out kila kitu sasa hivi lazima kuwa na skills ambazo zinakuwa na vitu vingi za kuweza kusaidia ulimwengu unaokwenda ambao ni wa digitali. Okay, kama ni wewe mtu wa kom, uh, mambo ya kompyuta, mambo ya kutengeneza app, unayajua haya mambo. Kwa sababu where we are going it will be dunia ya mtandao. It will be dunia yeah. ya mtandao. So anything has to do with mitandao, make sure you know it. Anything has to do with mambo ya marketing online, make sure you know how to do it. Anything has to do with personal branding online make sure you know it na kama nilivyosema you can learn anything anything for free online kama unajua where to find this information absolutely google wana toa free courses i have my digital marketing certificate from google no mm-hmm. yeah yeah google wana toa courses nyingi sana for free who kama wewe ni mtu afya wana toa free courses for free mm. Mm. anakupa certificate umeona mm. kwa hiyo ya yeah, watu tumie mitandao kujifunza hizo digital skills na nini yani kuna kuna free courses nyingi sana mtandao ni kwa hiyo make sure mm. you try to hivi yani make sure yani lift na mimi nasemaga kila siku lift na mkuta mtu barabarani kabisa ya yeah, uwezi kujua hiyo skills yako uliyopata leo itakusaidia wapi na lini kwa hiyo mm. you better be ready mm. kabisa 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 ya yeah, yeah. yani Yaani be ready for anything. Na kama una mtu analish toto anakwambia bwana na position fulani hivi inahitaji skills fulani si mtu anahitajika. Yaani wewe usiseme sina. Maambie okay. Mm-hmm. Kama nilivyosema mwanzoni mlo join fake until you make it. Yaani wewe sema ndio. Ni afu nenda online kajifunze quick 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 quick. quick. Yaani unajifunza you learn as you go. Don't deny mm-hmm. opportunity kama huna. Yaani wewe unless kama hutaki kutibu mtu sio yuko toa madawa hospitalini, hizo kwa kweli, don't quote me. I wouldn't say fake until you make it because kuna yeah. skills nyingine you have to have it. Doctor yeah. lazima uwe na hiyo PhD, PhD au degree au doctor. Si you nursing lazima uwe na elimu ya nursing mfumo wa binadamu na mfumo wa system huko ndani. You know? Lakini zinyengeza mitandao sio digital marketing, sio sales, sio marketing, sio hizo zina unasema ni a cup of tea. Just go learn it. Don't deny opportunity because you don't have it. Don't. Mhm. Don't. Mimi na kupiga private to vingi nikiwa sina sina skills. Yeah, kama sana mtu ananipigia anasema ya hiyo ninayo. Anasema okay wewe utatusaidia sana. Maana hata sisi kampuni yetu tunataka kitu kama hicho. Kesi tunaenda ku Google. So no. Mhm. That's I'm saying selling yourself, yeah? Good. Good for you girl, yeah? Yeah. Ya hiyo hii kesi unafanya hii hata nikiitwa nafanyaje kwa hiyo unatakiwa uende hata kusema ulisema unajua but you know mm. tuna mm. najua mm. mm. na let me tell you something mwajiri ambaye anaona wewe uta 
utakuwa kwenye kampuni mwajiri ambaye anaona kwamba wewe you are there to grow mwajiri kwamba anayekuona wewe una elimu na education na wewe itajika i tell you hata ukienda kwenye kampuni some skills you don't know but you're willing to learn absolutely huwezi kukuacha huwezi hawezi kukuacha mmenyakia mm, tizo tunaogopa you know, tunaogopa kusema kwamba i'm open yeah. to learn tunaogopa kwamba hey, labda nitakosa kazi there's nothing wrong with that you know hata kama una skills una na inahitajika maybe kujifunza really unaweza kusema you know nilishaanza kujifunza na i'm continue learning and i'm open for more learning so that i can bring something to that company and me grow as myself professionally umeelewa yeah. Yeah, kwa hiyo ndo kuna vitu ambavyo ndo kitu kingine ambako back to my ma interview questions. Watu wengi hawajui wewe vile vile unaweka pale kuuliza maswali kwenye interview. You have the right kuuliza maswali. Just because umeenda pale doesn't mean to okay maswali muuliza moja mbili tatu umemaliza umeondoka. At the end you can ask question yourself. You know, utaka kujua mwa kuhusu kampuni, utaka kujua mwa how are they dealing with the competitive kama nilivyosema kwamba kuna Vodacom fund tumetoa Vodacom na Airtel kwa hiyo umeenda kwenye interview Vodacom ukasema kwamba najua one of the biggest competitive ni Tigo you know kutokana na dunia inavyokwenda sasa hivi Tigo provide the same services how are you dealing yeah. with this competition uliza maswali hiyo inaonekana kwamba unajua kuhusu kwamba competitive wao ni Tigo you know au unasema kwamba ni the nature ya kampuni yenu you know employer wa hii kampuni what's the nature wanaanza kukwambia bwana sisi tuna watu diversity watu wenye uu wenye kutoka different sectors in life you know tunakuwa na networking event once every month you want to know how you're fitting in yani even vitu ambavyo vinakufanya kwamba na wewe you're interested kwenye hiyo kazi lakini usiende yeah. tuka pale tu kanyamaza tu kimya no ask questions yeah uliza maswali muda wote yani maswali mawili matatu if you're given an option to ask just ask ni kweli nadhani watu waga na uoga sana na pia confidence mm-hmm. confidence jamani kitu cha muhimu sana unajua unaweza hata ukawa hauna skills lakini ukiwa na confidence mtu anaona unajua mm-hmm. yeah umenikumbusha mm-hmm. ongea confidence umenikumbusha kuna kuna time ambayo nilikuwa Tanzania niliapply kazi project moja hivi mm-hmm. sasa anaitwa witness Joram Daud kwa hiyo witness mm-hmm. J alafu kwa kuna mtu mwingine anaitwa witness J Daud hivyo hivyo umeona mm-hmm. Lakini mimi nikashangaa sana mbona nimehamishwa position yangu. Nilikuwa namwomba kitu kingine nikapewa kitu kingine. Lakini kaisi mm. ni jina langu. Ku show up mm. sasa wenyewe sasa. Tunakutana mm. tuko witness Jay Daud wawili. Mm. Yes. Mm. Na kumbe mm. yule mimi naitwa witness Joram Daud, yeye alikuwa anaitwa witness Jonathan Daud. Mm. Lakini yeye alicho alichoomba ndio hicho. Mimi nisikuwa nimeomba hicho. Kwa hiyo mimi definitely nilikuwa sina. Mm. Nikauliza uliomba nini nikasema niliomba kiki na mimi nikataja nilichoomba. Mm. Mm. Na yule dakauza uliomba nini akasema ni hicho hicho. Sasa yule alikuwa hataji amini hana confidence. Umeona? Mm. Lakini mimi kwa nilikuwa na nafasi yake ile. Mhm. Sasa yule alikuwa na nafasi yake yeye yeah, akaondoka kwa sababu mm. tu tu anaogopa. Mhm. 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 Kwa hiyo nikagundua je, yeye yeah, atakiwa kuogopa. Mhm. Yeah, yeah. yani confidence ndio nao tuua yani nao tuua yani maidia kaka maidia na unajua nini confidence pia inachukua muda kujijenga you know yeah. na watu wengi wanaanga confidence kwa sababu either in the past mtu aliwa discourage na vitu kama hivyo kwa akaondolea ile confidence flag lakini wewe kama una elimu kama una skills na hata kama kazi haitaji elimu as long as you have those skills just be confident you know yani wewe jiende pale jiamini kwamba umeitwa kwenye interview that means your resume has stand out That's why you're called for an interview. Mhm. Kwa hiyo just have confidence yeah. Mia, yeah, yule dada lakini hakuja. Yaani japo tulikuwa tumepewa nafasi wote kwenye hiyo project lakini kama kesho yake hakuja. Nadhani aliogopa. Mhm. Mm, mm. Hakuja kwa Hakuja hata kufanya kazi. Hakuja. Ah, maskini. Yeah. Yaani alikuwa anaogopa. Nikamwambia tu wala hamna, hatutafukuzwa. Mimi najua tu lakini sikuomba hii. Hii kazi ni yake. Nikamwambia tu hapa tuona tutafukuzwa na hata kuulizwa lakini kama kesho yake hakuja. Nikisikia mm-hmm. vibaya na hii sasa tutafanyaje? Mhm. Yeah. But confidence ni kitu muhimu sana. Mhm. Safi sana. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Safi sana na kama unavyosema yani ni, ni kujiamini kwenye kazi, kujiamini unapoenda kutafuta hizi kazi kwa sababu yeah. kama umeitwa that means you stand out. You know, don't go there, you know, prepare yourself. Preparation pia. 
watu wengi waji prepare jamani watu wanaitwa kwenye interview hajui hivi ushae kusikia mtu anaitwa kwenye interview mtu kafana na mwajiri anampigia simu labda uli apply kazi mwezi umepita hujaitwa mm. obviously umesahau wewe ni binadamu na mambo mengi kimaisha mtu anakupigia yes. simu kwa unajua anakuita kwenye interview fulani mtu mm. anaogopa hata kuuliza eh dada mimi kwanza niambia unapiga kutoka kwenye kampuni gani na vitu kama hivyo You can ask question oh. kwa unajua nime apply kazi sehemu nyingi na mwezi sasa hivi umepita naomba tu nikumbushe hii ni kampuni gani na ni kazi gani ambayo nili apply there's nothing wrong ili at least okay. ukitoka hapo unajitambua unaenda kutafuta kujitayarisha kuhusu ya interview kwa sababu usipouliza hujui unasema tu oh, na kwa sababu kwa desperate ndio nili apply kazi okay sasa prepare yourself ukishajua fanyia research interview andaa resume yako you know andaa your... na ukienda kwenye interview always have a copy of your resume have a copy of your cover letter kwa sababu sa nyingine na have a copy for yourself have a copy for other two two more copies for other person because you never know unaweza kwenda kwenye panel interview ukienda kwenye panel interview ni more than one person ambao anaku interview kwa ukiwa na copy ya 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 ya, ya resume labda wale siku umefika pale mtandao wa ufanye kazi wameshinda ku print but if you have a copy you can give them your copy too ili wanakupuliza maswali they can refer back to your resume so always have your copy now there's nothing wrong fika pale fungua portfolio yako your resume is there your cover letter is there just because una kwenye interview doesn't mean cover book no you can have your resume open right there and your cover letter right there sit comfortable wait to start being interviewed give them a copy let them give them yani una kunisha how prepared you are Just because unaitwa doesn't mean unavenda pale umefunga vitabu. Ah, you can open your resume. Professional interview or, or high HR hata kunyima kazi because umefungua resume. Huyu hajui kitu. Akikwambia wewe kama tu unaibia si ni no, huyu hajui kitu. Ki professional, you can appear with your resume open, your cover letter is open, you present it, sit there and ask way to be asked questions. There's nothing. Mhm. Mhm. There's nothing. Yeah. Okay vizuri sana kujua. Hata mimi nilikuwa si. Najua tu tunaapia hauna hata una hata kitu. Ah no 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 you can appear we appear pale nenda na file lako. Fika pale umekalishwa. Af always ukiingia kwenye chuma cha interview subiri mpaka uambie ukae. So unaingia tu na wewe unakaa tu kitu kiko hapo na wewe unakaa. Wait. Uwezi kujua hicho <laughs> hicho hicho kitu labda cha mgeni mwingine. You know sasa waze kuebika uje utolewe. Kwa hiyo wewe ufika kwenye interview Simama subiri kwamba okay Catherine ka hapo na ka okay. unachukua simu yako kumbuka hapo simu umeizima hamna siku kutafina gamu siku bijini nini yani simu umeizima iko kwenye pochi simu imezimika pochi yako umeweka hapo chini umevaa tu decent mwenyewe professional fungua binda lako resume yako iko hapo cover letter iko hapo waulize kwamba do you have a copy of my resume kwa sababu wanaweza wao pendi binadamu kama vinavyosema wanaweza kawa wanafikiri wako na juma kumbe wako na James umenielewa eh you never know yeah. wao ni binadamu wanaweza kuambia kwa yeah. copy of my resume kudabo check kwamba is that really you wanataka kuinterview kwa sababu they are also human being unamwambia yeah i have a copy you have a copy of my resume unawapatia kama resume hawana unawapatia copy ili wa make sure that's you then wait to be asked questions and that's it yeah kwa hiyo wala usiuseme usi, usi, siju kwamba kutokuna na resume pale uruhusiwi na huyo ambaye atakwambia uruhusiwi huyo huyo hajasomea mambo ya keria wala HR huyo hayuko kwenye hiyo field hiyo ni wala wa mitaani you know okay yeah mm-hmm. apa mtu aliuliza swali akasema mm-hmm. kuhusu ku upload ku upload CV usalama upoje manaka manaki pale inaonekana na watu wengi na inakuwa na information zako binafsi tunaomba ufafanuzi Like kwa upload wapi? Uh, so, no, I mean sulisema sasa hivi uh, CV nyingi kweli ziko kwenye system. Hata wanaoomba TRA sasa hivi hawatumi CV. Unakuta yani CV yako tu ishaga kuepo. Yaani una mm. unaiapload online. Yeah, hiyo mm. usalama wa CV ukoje? Okay. Na ndio maana nilisema mwanzoni pale you don't put your personal information on CV. You don't put exactly address on CV. You can put like a PO box. You can put o unaweza ukasema tu Dar es Salaam Tanzania. Wewe sio kwa hivyo sio mtaa sio pia bwana. Umeelewa? Namba yako ya simu lazima uweke namba ya simu. I don't think there's anything wrong na mtu kuwa na namba yako ya simu. Namba ya simu haiwezi kudetect mahali unapoishi. Umeelewa? Yeah. yeah. 
Kwa hiyo usalama kwenye hizi database mara nyingi sisi nyingi za makazi na makampuni makubwa zinakuwa na usalama sana sana. Yaani hamna mtu ambaye ana kazi linked hizo information zako. Umeelewa? As long as ume upload resume iko more professional in only your name, your phone number and your email address so kama ni mtu wa website na website yako, that's it. You don't have to put a lot of personal information pad. You know, have to come in. usalama yani for sure kuna usalama zaidi na hata mtu kama akipata namba yako ya simu, namba simu can trace where you live. Kwa sababu fikiri anayeulizia ni terms ya mtu kuja nyumbani kwake gonga mlangoni. Namba simu can trace where you live. That's why I don't put your exact address. Ya yeah, maana hata pia box hazitumiki. Yaani literally hazitumiki. Hazitumiki. Eh, yeah. kwa unaweka tu Dar es Salaam Tanzania. Yeye yeah, anajua na wewe uko Dar es Salaam. Yeah. Ajui unakaa. Kwa sababu pia ukiweka mambo ya mitaa hapa Useme si unakaa sijui wapi kwa mfano kama let's say kazi iko mikocheni wewe unatoka Tabata huko you know, na usafiri wetu wa bongo si unajua kibongo bongo na kama una gari maskini mtu anaanza huyu wa Tabata ataweza kufika hapa saa mbili kweli huyu au saa moja na nusu alafu una gari kwa mfano kwa hiyo sasa na ndio maana nakwambia yani you have to be very careful kwa sababu inaweza kukufanya hata kama una skills na education mtu asiku, asikupe hiyo nafasi kwa sababu anajiuliza huyu atafika mapema kweli huyu ataweza kufika hapa kama tuje kutana na wewe lakini tayari anaanza kujiuliza maswali mbike ni binadamu vile vile. Yeah. yeah. But well, that's why you shouldn't put exactly exact address here. Yeah. Nika tuje Islam. Yeah. Yeah, na hapo kwenda kuuliza kwenye maswali interview hawezi kukuuliza unakaa wapi sio ni nini. Kama mtu anajua kweli hizi kazi hawezi kukuuliza. Yeah, ni kweli. Mhm. Yeah, yeah, so tuyo kwa tumeongea uh, kwa upload haswa kwenye LinkedIn. No LinkedIn okay uh, kwa nasema kwa upload kwenye LinkedIn. LinkedIn ni si, kwa si kuna email tu na yani mtu akikutaji LinkedIn ataku, ataku inbox huko huko LinkedIn. Yes, mtu akikutaji LinkedIn, yani mwajiri akikutaji LinkedIn, yeye ndo anakutafuta. Sasa so, kwa upload resume in LinkedIn, it's very secure. Don't even worry. Yani very very secure as long as kama nilivyosema, tukumbuke chini ndio kwenye mitandao ya kiftiki. Kwa hiyo yeah. kama kuna watu wabaya labda wanataka kufanya mambo mabaya don't put your personal information you know don't put pictures user nani na ndio maana you have to be very careful what you put on mitandao kama wewe yeah. ni mama au dada mwenye mtoto au wenye watoto weka tu picha yako professional useke picha ya familia kwa sababu we have to protect our kids kwenye mitandao we don't know who is watching them umeelewa yeah siji mtu akachukua picha za watoto akaenda kufanya vitu vya ajabu ajabu kwa hiyo kama ni wewe mwenyewe unatafuta kazi weka picha yako appear professional and that's it yeah don't include your children don't include anybody umeelewa mimi naamini kwamba watoto uh, wanatakiwa wenyewe kuwa na haki kama wanataka kuja kuwepo mitandaoni au wanataka kuwepo mitandaoni there's nothing wrong sharing your family pictures kwa mitandao kama Instagram ambako uko na familia lakini kwenye mambo ya professional haya um, just appear you as a person yeah kwa hiyo hizo se- ziko secured kwa sababu watu weki exactly address na kukaa. Ya yeah, tunaweka tu email, phone number na Dar es Salaam Tanzania and your yeah. kama fax fax number kama una, una website your website. Cause yeah. iko secure. Sana LinkedIn kwa sababu it's a professional iko secure. Yeah. Kwa sababu vile vile unataka employer aweze kukupigia simu kweli akakupata. Na yeah. um, nyumbani unajua sio kama nyumbani kuna voicemail kwenye simu. Na voicemail Yaani mtu anaweza akapiga simu akaacha voicemail. Lakini asitumike. Eh. Sasa hicho ni kitu ambacho eh. Unasema tena wakati sana. Yeah, okay. Lakini unajua voicemail, si unajua voicemail? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sasa voice call ambayo mjui voicemail. Voicemail ni ile message ambayo mtu akikupigia akupati. Inasema alafu sasa yeye mtu anaacha message. Okay? Sasa yeah. utakuta mwingine voice ni nyimbo, mwimbo. Okay? Na utakuta mwingine kaeka mwimbo wa kidini. There's nothing wrong with that. Lakini ki professional you don't stand out my dear sister, my dear brother. Employer anapokutafuta wewe kukupigia simu ende kwenye interview, sikutane na nyimbo. Kumbuka yule mtu hana muda. Yule mtu yuko pale for a business. Yule mtu ana dakika moja tu ya kukuachia message. Kwamba my name is Catherine na kupigia kutoka Top Education Consulting tumepata resume yako hapa tuko interested kuita kwenye interview sasa anze kukutana na mwimbo unaimba sijui mwimbo sijui wa nani sijui unaimba dakika moja nzima mwimbo yani hapo anakata simu au kuna zile voice mail mimi nasikia nyingine mtu anazungumza halo 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 lakini hamna mtu 
Et les voix smoke. Les voix smoke. Hello, 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 hello. Baka wa mwenye wa nasema hello. Ukafikiri kuna mtu. Kumbe hakuna mtu. Les voix smoke. And then bada hapo ndo na beep ya kuacha message. Yani they have no time. Or make sure your voice smell is very professional. Yani, you know, introduce your lako. Hi, you have reached Catherine Kaseyaga. Unfortunately, I'm not available. Kupokea simu sasa hivi. Please, ni echena mbako ya simu. Nita kudia as soon as possible. Chezo na kushu. Sinu siyo nyimbo, sinu nyimbo. Unaimba nyimbo. Daika moja, mtu nakana sikiza. Yani, hapo, ndo unaunda, unaplay kazi hupati. Kwa sabu watu wame kupigia, ayo, wanasikiza nyimbo tu. Anakati. Anakupigia, sikiza nyimbo tu, anakati. Mtu wana move on, mana hata ni wengi waliyo apply upia wana sifa. Yes. Wana move on to the next one. Ya, wana kwanza na kuwana wana wanaikani. Ya, yani huwa na shangaga ya sana, lakini don't. Kama wana simumbili, that's fine. Kama mwenye nda kuweka nyimbo, lakini ndo ugayi kwa professional. Fine, uweka nyimbo yako. Lakini kama, let's say, wana simumoja tu. Make sure your voice mail is very professional. Sounds very professional. Okay, yeah. That's true. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yemani, uh, pegi ya uh, Catherine ndo hii hapo, Top Education Consulting Instagram. Unaisa mka mfollow na pia? Yes, yes. Ya namba yeah. simu nimeweka hapo, unaisa wakatutafuta kwa namba simu, mtu otu anaitaji msaada, uja kusoma Canada, kuja kufanya kazi Canada, uh, mtu otu ambana anaitaji kusaidiwa kuandika resume, kusaidiwa kuikorect profile yake ya LinkedIn, kuupload resume, Kavaleta, interview skills, tutafute, tuko maenea ya Victoria, kalibuni sana. Basi, tutawasaidia kadra uwezo wetu, tukue pamoja, tutifunze pamoja, kuendelea na kukue pamoja as professional, ya. Ya, that's very true. So, ya, nadhani tumemaliza. Kama unachazi yada, laba mbacho tungependa kujua, mbacho laba wasidia kiuliza na ungependa kushare. Ok, nataka tu ni matie moyo, nataka ni tutiane moyo. Uh, kama nivyo sema dunia sasa hivi ni dunia tunakwenda kujinyia kidigitali tukijaribu sana yeah. kujikita kwenye kwenye skills za kidigitali nataka pia ni kuambia kwamba kumbuka unachoweka kwenye mitandao hatufutiki uh, kumbuka ujui anayekuangalia kwenye mitandao um, yeah. you never know inaweza kawa bill gates inaweza kawa yule jamaa wa tesla you know ceo yeah. you never know who's watching you you know an opportunity fulani kwa be very careful unachukua kwenye mitanda. Na nataka vivyo ni kutie moyo kwamba um, jiamini, jiamini. Kama unajijua vali yako na skills yako, una elimu yako, hata kama una elimu, una skills zako ambazo unaweza sana kwa kampuni, jiamini, stand out, be different. Na uende ukafanya hiyo kazi, ukaapply hiyo kazi na I guarantee you, you know, kama huyu hata kwa ajili basi mwingine atakwajia. Na always kumbuka, mlango mmoja ukifungwa mwingine unafunguliwa. Now one thing and that can change the gang. Fake it until you make it. Everything is possible. Fake it. Learn a new skills. You can learn anything in the world today. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Tena ni mes ni mesa. Kuna sana ni kuta kuliza. Kuna wala una kuta kabla kuliza. Kuna wala una kuta na apply kazi. Alafu na kuta majira na mambi you are over qualified. Yari yari panya di wepa we we apa ni usu over qualified. No no. Yeah. Kuta kuta not hire you because we we think that you are over qualified. Mm, mm, mm. Sasa hilo ni swali zuri sana na mara nyingi huwa linawakatisha watu tamaa. Na overqualify inawezekana maybe elimu yako ni ya juu zaidi kutokana kuliko wanavyotarajia wao. Au maybe skills zako ziko so strong kuliko wanavyo wao tarajia. Sasa kuna vitu viwili. Kuna ku apply kazi na kweli unataka kufanya kazi hapa kwa sababu you are passionate about yeah. your company. Kuna ku apply kazi because unataka ugali ndani wa kwenye meza sasa it's you kama uko kwa overqualified na hawezi kupa kile kipato ambacho based na your education sasa your choice is yours unataka kweli kufanya kazi pale kwa sababu ya ugali au unataka kufanya kazi pale ili uendelee ku grow professional umenielewa kama unataka kwenda kufanya kazi pale kwa sababu ya ugali you can accept the position kwamba yes i'm 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 overqualified lakini that doesn't mean that I will not learn from those who are not who have different experience than me. Kila mtu ana uniqueness zake. Yeah. Mtu anaweza kaa na PhD ya kitu fulani lakini hajui jinsi ya kudili na customer wenye matizo mbalimbali. Mtu anaweza kaa na PhD ya kitu fulani lakini hajui kuperform kwenye teamwork. 
Kwanza kasema kwamba one of my my weakness or one of my not my strength part of it is I don't do I don't work well with people in the team. Ko I know I can learn from these people who doesn't have the education that I have ili ku stand out as a team. Umenelewa? Lakini kama unajua kwamba wewe pale unataka ku grow professional na wewe uko pale kwamba hiyo kazi wewe uwezi kuipata kwa sababu kipati chake akiendana na wewe once you know your value you okay to say okay if i'm if i'm over qualified maybe there will be another position in the future or somewhere else kwa you can deny the post kwa ina nitegemea wewe uko kwenye hali gani kwenye state of mind you know okay. economically unahitaji kwa ajili ya, ya kuweka chakula mezani au unataka tu kufanya ile kazi kwa vitu vingine mbalimbali Okay. Kwa that's a very good question. Na watu wengi wanakuwa wanaambiwaga hivyo kwamba you are qualified. Either you are know, discouraged how do you find? But the choice is yours. You can deny it or you can accept it na kuitan kwamba usijifanye you are too much now kwamba vile vile just because I'm qualified doesn't mean I have nothing to learn. We learn yeah. as we go. We learn every day. If we stop learning, we stop growing. That's true. Mm. Mm-hmm. Na mtu mwenye PhD can learn from somebody ambaye hana degree. Absolutely. Tu kwa tofauti, tuna uniqueness in ourselves, yeah. Kwa hiyo yeah. just present yourself as positive and you're there to learn. Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. So yeah, my sister, thank you so much for today. It was welcome. Really- Even yeah. me, I'm so happy. Mm-hmm. Yani you are so good. I'm looking forward for more. Actually. For more, yani we I will have more now. If come on, you have more ideas, topic to discuss. Maybe another thing I was telling telling my business partner Tunaweza tukawa yeah. tukaja na another talk kuhusu uh, how to come and study in Canada uh, how to come and work in Canada that could also be another topic tunaweza tukaizungumzia yani ni venture gani uh, ni vitu gani ambavyo mtu anatakiwa kuwa nazo skills gani ambazo mtakiwa kuwa nazo tukawapa more ideas i think kwa kuendelea kwa hapa watu wa masa yeah, yeah for sure so that can be definitely another talk yeah that would be nice when you are to lini you are available just let me know mm-hmm. when you you are ready Mm mm mm. I'm not any time. Yeah, na nashukuru yeah. sana kwa kunipa hii platform na hopefully tumeweza kukelimisha watu na kama nilivyosema if there's anybody needs help this on information zangu um tutaendelea kuwasiliana. Asante sana. Thank you. Na nitai post pia hii hapa YouTube. Kwa hiyo put your contact pia. Oh kabisa, kabisa, kabisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, asante na asubuhi njema. Maana sisi wengine tunajiandaa ah. I'm not sure anytime karibuni sana asanteni sana. Okay bye bye. Okay bye.